In the previous video, we successfully set up the integration between Acrobat Sign and Microsoft Dynamics. Now, it's time to put this powerful integration to use. This is an NDA that I want to map to an opportunity in my Dynamics account. And this is just your garden variety type NDA, so I'll use it as a template, so I also have it available for other opportunities as well. Okay, I'm in my Dynamics account. Now scrolling down on the left hand side, I can now select Adobe Acrobat Sign. And now I have some configurations to do so I can map that NDA agreement that I want to send out for signature to an opportunity. And I always start with data mappings. Now if you're not familiar, Dynamics works with entities and those are your database tables. So data mappings will allow data from Dynamics to populate into your agreements. So I'm going to create a new data mapping. So come up here. I'll give it a name. Call it AdventureWorks 4 Mapping. We'll leave it set as no for default. And with respect to the entity, I'm going to uh, be working in opportunities. So I need to create a mapping for the opportunity table. I'm going to come down here and grab opportunity. And by choosing opportunity from that entity dropdown, that is what's going to give me access to the opportunity. And now I can come over here to data mappings and I can map CRM data to an Acrobat sign agreement. Now I can look for attributes that refer to the opportunity entity or the opportunity table. I want to choose a leads table in my opportunity entity, so I'm going to scroll down to originating lead and grab the first name. It's down here somewhere. Originating lead, first name. Okay, and now I want this attribute to map to an agreement field that I'll place in my NDA in just a moment. So I'm going to call this op, first name, and then hit add. And now I want to do the same thing for the last name. Once again, call this one op. This is going to map to my agreement. And then one last time for the company name. Here it is. And I'll add that. Okay, so now when I scroll down, I can see my data mappings that are tied to my agreement field. So now I'm going to place the agreement field tags in that NDA so then I can pull it into a template to be used in Dynamics. So I'll just hit save and close and we'll go to our Word doc. Okay, here's my Word doc, my NDA. So under account information, this is where I'm going to populate this with data pulled in from my Dynamics opportunity. So I'm going to come up here and go to document generation. Now this is a tool, the document tagger, that allows me to easily create tags in my Word doc. And this is a great tool, really, because it keeps me from having to know how to code. And by the way, this is a free plugin with Word. So I'm going to select Get Started, and I'll continue without JSON. And now I just want to create those three tags that I just mapped into Dynamics. So I'm going to come up here to Create Tag, and I'll select this so I can do multiple at a time. And I'll just put these in here. Create that. Do one more. Create that, and then last one for the company. And create that. Okay, so now my tags are created. Everything looks pretty good. Now I just want to put them where I want them to go, under account information. So I just need to come over here and select my tag, make sure I have my cursor where I want it, and insert text. I might bump this out a little bit because I know my name is a little longer for the company. And then now I want to put in my first name. That's going to go there. And a couple of space or so. And then I'll put in my last name. And now I just hit save. Oh, one thing I want to mention. Down here, you're going to see text tags for signatures, for printing names, and the date. These are only going to be recognized by Acrobat Sign. So now I'm just going to save this document so I can use it in my template. Okay, I'm back in my Dynamics account. And so now data mappings are done. So now I want to create an agreement template. And this is what it will actually be used to send out for signatures. So I'm going to come up here and click New. And I'll give this a name. Call it NDA Adventure Template. And the entity, once again, we're going to choose Opportunity. Come down and grab it. 
Okay, now it's going to process. So now you're going to see here the template name, the primary entity is the opportunity, and now we want to make sure that we have got the data mapping included. So this is the one we just made, Adventure Works for Mapping. So we're going to make sure that those are tied. Now over here you see this box. By default, this box is not checked, and I really wish that it was checked. I'm not really sure why it isn't because when it is checked and when you're in the opportunity, you'll be able to see this template and use it to send for signature. If it isn't active, it won't show up as an option. So just make sure that this is checked. Okay, now I'm just going to save this so far. And now moving from left to right, I'll go to recipients. And for recipients, this is just saying who you want to be part of that signing ceremony. So I'm going to add a single recipient. And here's they're coming from the primary entity. The recipient role, they can be a signer, they can be an approver, or you could just CC them. For today, they're going to be a signer. And also, you can also source where you want your recipients to come from. So they can either be a lead contact only or any contact that's associated with that opportunity. Today, we're going to leave it as lead contact only. And now I'm going to hit save and close. And now moving on, I can come over here to agreement details. So in here, you're just going to give the agreement a name, we'll call it NDA Adventure Template. We'll call, it, call that agreement. And up here, this is where we're going to attach our file. So I'll come over here and just grab that file that we just put the tags in. And as this is processed, you'll see up here, you've got some options that are coming your way. And these agreement options, they're pretty good. So I always have the first one checked preview and position signatures before sending. And the reason is, is I always want to be able to see that agreement before it's sent out, just so I can look at my mappings, make sure everything looked great. You can also set an expiration date. So if you want to keep things moving, you could set your date. And after that, that agreement will expire. You can also add a post signing landing page, require in-person signing. You could require my signature. You can change the signing order if you want to. Now we only have one signer on here, but if we had many, you could change that order. Signature type would be e-sign, and we, we could schedule reminders every day, every week, and also change the language. Moving down here, we can set a password to open up the PDF, and then we do have identity verification methods here. If they have an Acrobat sign account, they could verify with that. They could use their email, which is what we'll do today, a password, or a knowledge base KBA. Okay, so these are all the agreement details, and now we're ready to go. So I'll go ahead and hit save. So I'll come over here on my left-hand side, and I'll select sales, and I'll come up and grab an opportunity. So I'll pick this first one. And here it is. My uh, topic is keep ordering better airline food, and AdventureWorks is my account. And I can also see the contact name here, the currency. I could easily put in a budget amount if I want to. Now I'm just going to come over and go to these three dots and I want to use this opportunity to send out for signatures. So I'm going to come here, the NDA Adventure template, we did make that active, so that's why it's showing up in this list. I'm going to select that. And now it's going to show me all the information about that. I can see the recipient name, the, what their role is, that they're a signer, and the email address. The document is attached. The subject is NDA Adventure Agreement. And now the message, please review and complete this document is here. And also preview and position signatures before sending, always have that checked. And then lastly, at the bottom, you can see that we are mapped to the Adventure Works for mapping that we did earlier. Okay, so now I'm just going to hit send agreement. So what's happening now, it's processing this document. Remember I had the preview box checked, so it does give me the ability to preview this document. And then scrolling down, you can see that the mappings are all there. There's AdventureWorks, Alex Page is the name. And then down here, you can also see the fillable form fields that were recognized by Acrobat Sign. It's got a signature field, a full name field, and a date field. That's where the recipient will be able to fill everything in. Now I'm just going to come over here and hit send. Okay, what I'm seeing here is that this has been sent out successfully for signature. And it's going to tell me where it goes, and now let's go see what that looks like from the recipient's point of view. Okay, so here I am on my tablet, and I'm going to open up my Gmail, play the role of the recipient. My very first email at the top, select that. System administrator requests your signature on NDA Adventure Agreement. So I'll just hit review and sign. 
keep in mind I don't have to install anything, download anything, anything at all like that. I just have to have an email that works, and in this case my tablet. So I can scroll down and I can see that there's AdventureWorks and Alex Page, the name is there, and this is where I'll sign. So I can take a look at everything, read the content over, and notice that the name and the date have auto-populated. So now I'm just going to come in here, and there's a few ways I can sign. I can draw in my signature. I'm not going to do that. I could upload an image of my signature, but today I'm just going to type in my signature and then hit apply. And then hit finish. And now tap to sign. And I'll get this notification that tells me I'm all set. I can download a copy of this. And that'll also come with an audit trail when that agreement is finished being signed by everyone. In this case, it's just me, so it'll have the audit trail when it's completed. And now back in my opportunity, I can go to my timeline and I can see that these completed documents have saved here. So here's the NDA Adventure Agreement Audit Trail. Here's the NDA Adventure Agreement Combined PDF. So I want to see this. This will show me the signed document and also the accompanying audit trail that are combined. So I'm going to open these up. Here's my non-disclosure agreement. Here's all my mapped information. Here's my signatures and the printed name and the date. And then down here attached to it is the audit trail, which is going to show me all of the steps in that signing ceremony. Also, my transaction ID, the status is that it has been signed, and who it was created and when it was created. Also, I can come back in here, and if I go to my Acrobat Sign tab, I can go under my agreements, and I'll see that listed here also, and the status that it's been signed, and then it'll have the date, the owner, and the date that it was created on also. Okay, so that's a brief overview of the Acrobat Sign Dynamics integration. And now with this integration, you don't have to leave Dynamics at all, and the end result is organization, accuracy, and speed, and all of it's secure. So come in here, play around, and you'll understand now why integrate.